Hey guys, welcome back for another video. If you're new, I'm Alyssa Q Girl. And if you're an OG, you already know. And as you can tell from the title, this is a bougie versus bougie. Now y'all know I have this series called Bougie versus Bargain, but I can't call two things from Sephora that are both pricey. Although this is bougie versus bougie bargain. I can't call it bougie versus bargain but I can call it bougie versus bougie bargain. We are going to compare the Dior Backstage versus the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. That's a long name, but let's get to it. First of all, I've already done a review ver comparing this one to the MAC Foundation, the MAC Face and Body, but there are some comparisons y'all to this because I don't know if a lot of people knew, but Pat McGrath, who is a world-renowned makeup artist she is the mother yeah that queen queen mother okay mother pat yes came out with a foundation which i've done a first impression on and i can actually update you guys about the foundation because i have been wearing it since then but i really do enjoy this i did get this complimentary from influencer so this one was sent to me although i, I did purchase this one during a sephora vib sale like maybe about a year ago. And so let's compare the two. Pat McGrath actually did make up for Dior. I don't know if you guys knew that. So there are some similarities. I feel like even in the consistency and the smoothness of the product, but there are some differences. So the first difference that we see that is actually obvious is the packaging. Okay. So Pat McGrath Labs actually has in her foundation, this is a glass like frosted bottle. Actually, this reminds me a lot of the Estee Lauder Double Wear but you know leveled up you know what i'm saying because pat mcgrath she she got the gold she got the black it just looks all the way luxury luxurious and it looks luxe you know what i'm saying which it is and um she has a cap and a pump absolutely love that you know what i'm saying so i really love that you do get 1.18 1.18 fluid ounces of product and the expiration on this is 12 months I have medium 17 and this actually has 36 shades. It retails for $68, which is a pricey foundation. And, um, but I think that it is really, really good. It is, a, it claims to be, which the claims are true, by the way, I can tell you that right now. It is a medium satin radiant finish. That is what this foundation is. It is so beautiful with building it up so i put on three layers if you want to check out that video definitely check out the first impression because i do give a lot of information in that although it is a first impression i wanted to do that before i didn't even know sephora vib was coming up but i'm definitely doing this video for that purpose just because you can pick up both of these from sephora and in the case because a lot of people were talking about a little birdie said in social media that these are very similar so i definitely wanted to come with a comparison video in a bargain versus bargain bougie okay so this comes in 36 shades i love that she has light light medium 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 dark and then deep so I, I love that she has like a range. So this comes in 36 shades. On the other hand, this is a squeezy plastic bottle and it does have a top, but the top is more of a spout. This is to me more of what you have in your kit, to be honest with you. So um, it has that shade range. You do get more product in this one. You get 1.6 fluid ounces grass was again 1.18 so you do get more product this is like a bottle and a half of what you would get like this is almost two full bottles of standard foundation so that is great because you get a good amount of this by the way this retails for $40 you get it in 40 shades I thought that the shades were more the, the range was larger like by far from Pat McGrath, but not really. That's only what four shades away, four shades difference in range. Um, so this is 36, this has 40 shades. Dior, up until this product, the shade range sucked to me because this is the most that they've ever had in the product. The finish is a natural matte and they it claims that it has nice and medium coverage which i agree because if you try to go full coverage on this i feel like although i feel more that this is a more full coverage to me um it can start to look cakey which is the comparison to this like pat mcgrath i don't even know if this could ever look cakey 
to be honest with you because of how well it builds this is like the best building buildable foundation like this is true buildable okay some brands claim that the product is buildable and it starts to look cakey i don't know if i can get even get cake out of this cake face the only way i would be able to do that is if i had like a crazy full coverage powder and just built on top of build but this is a beautiful build it dries down beautiful again this is a satin natural radiant finish so those are the differences in the two what do I think in terms of bougie bargain? Okay, bougie versus bougie bar bargain. I do believe that from dry to combination. I don't know how my oily girls would feel about this because it's a natural radiant. Some oily girls love a natural radiant. But in terms of like really keeping that stay all day, I don't know if that would do this in this with this because this one is long lasting, but it's not like one of your lockdown. It's not like... A stay all day type of it's long lasting but it's not stay all day I feel like that this product is more of a stay all day and I think it really it, it is because of the natural matte finish that it has this one dries down still beautifully but this one is a better buildable type of coverage um, I think my oily girls would like this more I talked about that in my Mac face and body versus the Dior face and body video I will leave that in a link down below but I do believe still that my girls that are matte are going to still like this as well as a matter of fact because you have oily skin and this is a matte natural it's going to give you I think the finish this one would give to a dry girl I think if you want full coverage matte you're going to have to powder with both of these but this one is going to be most this is going to be better suited for a oily girl. Although this costs less, okay? I feel like that dry girl that wants, or even if you have mature skin and you just want to look like on point all the time, like every day, this one is the product for you. And like I said, in the bougie versus bargain, I love both, but I'm giving you the price the range all of the deets on both products and which one would be better suited for you so you can make a decision i want to have them up close and personal so you guys can check it out but like i said these are st both still beautiful in the fall and winter i'm probably going to go towards more of the pat mcgrath this is going to be more of my summer shade which i have or my and my summer product just because this is a matte finish now there is a difference in the shade range though to me a lot of the dior pulls more pink pat mcgrath because she know her stuff girl <laughs> it pulls a lot of yellow i'm going to show and i don't want to say yeah a lot yellow more yellow not to say that she doesn't have pink but i can tell although i usually have a neutral undertone neutral undertone foundations usually work real well with me and both of these claim to have a neutral undertone but i'm going to show you the difference that it's like the texture of these are very very similar that which is why i can understand why people thought that both of these were comparable both of these are like a semi runny it's not super runny but you can still see that this is runny now this is my shade in the Dior okay and this is my shade neutral shade in Pat McGrath Pat McGrath when I put it on y'all it smoothed and disappeared immediately this one I feel like um because it's a little bit more red it's okay a more pink undertone is okay in the fall and, I mean in the summer just because when I tend to tan I go more of the skin tone and when I'm more my original shade I'm more of the yellow so it's okay both of them are okay now let me talk about differences Pat McGrath is paraben free okay and also I feel like her foundation is a bit thicker if you notice the this one here which is the Dior dry down a lot quicker and again the finishes are different but in similarities the I feel like the smoothness and the texture you can feel the luxuriousness creaminess more of a Pat McGrath and I'm gonna tell you all the biggest difference that I could tell so if this is something that is going to impact this is what you really want to pay attention to this is very scented okay luxury foundations have a tend tendency to be very fragrant this is very fragrant 
Pat McGrath is fragrance free, y'all. So if you have super sensitive skin, go with the Pat McGrath because I and, and get a powder. Actually, try her powder because I am so tempted to try her powder. Seriously. But get her powder and get this because y'all, Dior is going to throw you off because it is very scented. Oh, yes, very scented. So those are the differences. That's all I wanted to come with my bougie versus bougie bargain in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you like these type of videos, y'all. Y'all could, I could tell from the first one, but let me know what I should do next. Let me know the bougie versus bougie bargain. And basically that is the products have to be similar. I come on here, test the product, let you guys know what I think about it. And then we go down the whole line and then you can make your decision. You might not want either one of them, but on the other hand, you might say, girl, I want that bargain versus the bougie. Oh girl, that bougie is worse, better than the bargain. You know what I'm saying? But I do love both of these. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I do have a couple of other ones. I have a foundation stick that I'm going to do. I also have a toner. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this bougie versus bougie bargain. And I will see you guys in the next video.